Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, this starts with a story of a Japanese woman, Yumi Ishikawa, who stood up against an unreasonable social convention and ended up getting national attention. And it all started with this tweet. Someday, I want to get rid of the custom where women have to wear heels and pumps at work. When I was in trade school, I had a part-time job at the hotel staying there for a month. But my feet couldn't handle it because I had to wear pumps. I quit the job and my school too. Why would I have to work injuring my feet even though men can wear flat shoes? And that was actually a pretty casual tweet. Her point is that many women have to wear some type of high heels at work because it's customary, even though they may have negative health effects. And she wants to change that. When she tweeted that, she probably wasn't expecting that it would get so much attention but it got lots of support, especially from women. Let me share some of the replies. I really, really agree. Many companies really force us to wear heels in the hospitality industry. My workplace required me to stand for 10 hours wearing heels. I damaged my back and knees, so I talked to my boss. But he just said that everybody was doing it. The next day, I ordered heels that would fit my boss and as soon as I got it, I gave it to him. Long story short, I got fired. When I handed them my resignation letter, I smashed heels with a hammer in front of them and I left the company. That was pretty intense but you get the point. Some bosses really force their female staff members to wear heels. I don't understand why they can get away with rules that undermine the staff's health and safety. Whether they are flight attendants or waitresses who carry hot stuff, they would be safer with flat shoes. Eventually, she added the hashtag kutu, which of course was inspired by me too. In Japanese, kutu means shoes and kutu means painful. And more people tweeted using the hashtag kutu. High heels are fashionable. I like them too. But forced means you have to wear them for 8 to 9 hours every day, not just once. This movement is against being forced and not about eliminating high heels entirely. I think this is a kind of assumption influenced by TV or manga. But until I came across a kutu problem recently, I was thinking that women can normally wear high heeled shoes without making their feet hurt. And I was weird because my feet sometimes bleed. I thought that maybe my feet were badly shaped or I was too heavy. That was pretty heartbreaking, wasn't it? Some women actually blamed themselves thinking that it was their fault that their feet hurt. So the Kutu movement made many people realize that they're not alone. And some women even shared a photo of their foot. I've been a salesperson for 4 years wearing pumps. And the movement encouraged some people to take action. This happened to someone I know. Some women get encouraged by the media coverage of the Kutu movement, so they told their boss that they want to wear lower heeled shoes. The first woman, the second woman, and when the third woman told their boss, they decided that everybody can wear any shoes they want. So it really changed some people's lives. Eventually, Yumi Ishikawa started a petition and more than 26,000 people have signed. The goal of the petition is to ask the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare to ban heel requirements at work. And on the 5th June, a politician officially asked the Minister of Health about the movement at a government session. This is pretty significant considering it started with one tweet from one individual. Now at the government session, the Minister of Health said something along the line of heels may be necessary depending on the work which made a lot of people unhappy and the media made it a headline. But as usual, people only focused on one part and didn't learn the full context. The politician also asked the state minister of health who said that heels aren't something that should be forced to wear. And later, the ministry clarified that they don't support forcing heels. And six days later, they held a meeting at the government office to discuss the issue. Both the Ministry of Health and Yumi Ishikawa participated among others. The ministry acknowledged that it wouldn't be appropriate to force women to wear heels when they have negative health effects. 
even though they also said that it will be difficult for them to decide what jobs require heels and what jobs don't. And it's debatable what the ministry should do, but they're doing their job by learning about the issue. And there are different opinions. So far, I've only talked about people who agree with her, but of course there are people who disagree. Let me share some opinions. My beautiful female colleague trashed Kutu saying, it's always the ugly ones who complain about high heels and makeup. Beautiful ones become more beautiful because of what they have and their efforts. It's the same thing when stupid people don't want to study hard because they think it's pointless and they practically choose to fail. That's not really a constructive criticism, but I shared it because it has many likes, so some people feel that way. I am against forcing women to wear heels, but I don't agree with discussing it as sexism or a gender issue. Men are also being forced to wear pointless suits and ties. But it's not right for the government to intervene. I do think that they should eliminate health damages. I just can't agree with part of the movement's policy. Like that one? There are many people who partially agree with her but partially disagree, especially when it comes to the gender part. If you don't like it, you can always quit. Wouldn't you understand that you have to wear pumps and heels at work if you work for a funeral business? Apart from those opinions, there are people who said that they require heels because they think their clients will like it. But this problem isn't exclusive to Japan. For example, a British woman started a similar petition after being fired for not wearing high heels. And the Philippines banned compulsory heels at work. Also, Cannes Film Festival faced a backlash after refusing women who weren't wearing heels. So there are similar things happening around the world. At the end of the day, what's considered appropriate attire is a matter of culture, tradition, and custom which are subject to change. And people are questioning those things. And contrary to what the media reports, the Japanese government doesn't actually support forcing women to wear heels and they acknowledge that this is a problem that exists in some places. As you can see, when it comes to social issues in Japan, the media tends to only focus on certain things and doesn't really give you the full context. So if you really want to understand those issues, you need to get information in Japanese. But if you don't speak Japanese, I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email, so click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.